What's good, Hurricks fan, man? It's your boy, Hurricks Credit, back at it again with another fucking banger, y'all. Look, man, today we got a very special video, a question that I've always been asked throughout all platforms, but I haven't really had. I guess I haven't really remembered to drop this video, so I'm dropping it today. The topic is, does credit increase matter? And getting straight into it, man, credit increase do not matter, okay? It can matter in certain situations. For example, let's say you are trying to apply for some funding you have 10 recent inquiries, okay? That is gonna matter. Because when you try to apply for some funding, these banks are gonna look at you funny. Damn, he's applied for all this shit. He's credit seeking. What is he trying to do, right? What are you trying to do when you apply for 10 institutions at the same day? That's gonna raise a red flag. Or very recent, the same month, okay? In the last, what? Last three months, okay? It raises a red flag because you are credit seeking. You have to be very strategic when you are applying for credit okay there's certain ways that you can avoid you know the banks looking at you funny with a credit increase that's why i say you got to apply for um, multiple swipes in the same day click apply 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 and you know they're not going to see the recent hard increase right because it takes about five to ten seconds for an inquiry to post on your credit report it's like a whole strategy man that is called the double dipping strategy this is this works especially with credit unions but yeah, man, it's a whole strategy to it. But yeah, credit inquiries do not matter, man. If you have, let's say, 15 inquiries, uh, 18 inquiries, right? But they are not recent, they are old hard pulls. It's not gonna matter. You can apply for a certain institution, man, and you know, get some funding. There's certain institutions that will hold off on lending because they are very, I guess, conservative if you have a lot of recent hard increase but majority of lenders they're going to look at that and it doesn't really matter because they are not recent so what matters is recent hard pulls okay that matters okay but it is good to remove all those hard increase off your credit report man it makes your credit boost up a little bit but for approval odds if your credit like the rest of your credit is looking solid then you straight right if you have a good credit score right 700 plus you haven't had recent accounts in the last six months, right? You have no derogatories, no late payments, man. Your utilization is under 10%. Your oldest primary credit card is what? Two, two, three years old, right? Not an authorized user. Let's say you do have some authorized user trade lines. Then you are still going to get approved with most lenders, okay? The credit increase do not matter. But like I said, it is good to remove them so you can have your credit boosted a little bit, right? So you can get them additional points for each hard pull once they are removed. But what really matters is recent accounts. That's what really like that's what really matters. That's what lenders see. When you have recent accounts, you know how most majority of lenders have certain rules, like Chase, for example, they got the five slash twenty-four rule. So if you had five recent revolving credit cards in the last twenty-four months, automatically you're gonna get denied. Well, that's the limit, five, okay? If you pass that, you're gonna get denied. So that's the five slash, five slash 24 rule, okay? Each institution has their own rule. So recent accounts is what matters. That's what matters. Inquiries, they don't really pay attention to that shit, okay? Inquiries don't matter, but it's always good to remove them. So recent accounts, if you had recent accounts in the last six months, that's why I always tell y'all, if you've applied for an account and it's already posted, try to avoid um credit app applications with institutions for six months if you had that recent account posted you got to sit down that's why it's called credit gardening it, for the people that are in the credit game they know this strategy credit gardening is when you sit down well first you apply for some credit cards right through each uh credit bureau that some that pull transunion some that pull equifax some that pull Experian, right then you sit back you sit back you already got your credit cards you let those credit cards age around the same time right and now that your six months have passed, now you go for the next round of credit cards. That is credit gardening, okay? That's what matters. Recent accounts, okay? If you've applied for, you know, credit cards and like, your, let's say your newest credit card is, what, two months old, a month old. Most lenders, when you try to apply for some funding, they don't want to deny you. It all leads back to being thirsty for credit. That's why I say if you had a lot of recent hard increase, that's when it matters. It looks like you're thirsty for credit. Lenders do not want to approve you 
when you seem like you are thirsty for credit. When you need the credit, that's when they don't want to approve you. When you don't need the credit, that's when they want to approve you, okay? So they don't want to approve you when you feel like when they feel like you need the credit. When you don't when you feel like you don't need the credit, that's when they want to approve you. Okay? I I don't want y'all to get confused, but it's very simple. The credit game is like human nature, okay? Y'all always want to compare this shit to human nature. Why the fuck would I lend uh Johnny money? When he just got, you know, he he already asked the whole block for some money, right? Why the fuck would I give him money? You get what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck is he trying to do with my money, right? He already asked all these people why he needs more money from me. You get what I'm saying? It's human nature, y'all. So, yeah, when it comes to increase, recent credit increase matter. Old credit increase do not matter, okay? If you had old credit, credit card increase, they don't matter. If they are older than, I'd say, six months, you straight. You good, right? Six plus months, you straight. And increase fall off in two years, right? 24 months, all your increase will fall off. Sometimes I've heard some cases where they stay a little longer, but that is a violation. You just call them up and say, hey, look, it's been already 24 months, remove them. I say that's basically it about this video. Recent increase don't really matter. I mean, recent increase matter, but old increase don't matter. You can still get approved with a lot of hard pulls but they have to be a little aged, okay? If you have recent hard pulls, you're not gonna get approved. And, and what matters is recent accounts, okay? That is basically it. Very simple, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Enough wasting y'all time. Y'all get busy. My Hoodrich fam gotta get busy. Y'all gotta hustle every fucking day. Get to the bag, get to the money. And come on, man. Stop being broke. Why the fuck? It's 2022. These young ass dudes getting money, they get into the bag, right? These youngins are outworking you, okay? Get to the bag. All my hood rich fam, let's step up our hustle. Let's get to the fucking bag. Let's run it up. Y'all have a good day. The hood rich way gone.